Hi there. So a few months ago, I ran into an issue while creating some e-learning content with Adobe Captivate. Uh, the issue revolved around when I had a shared action associated with a button and I wanted to copy that button uh, from one slide uh, to the other. When I did that, it caused a fatal error to occur. Uh, I contacted Adobe to try and help with this and unfortunately they weren't able to recreate the issue even though the issue occurred uh, on my PC and my Mac as I'm using right now my work computer my PC and my, my own personal Mac and now I've had a comment on the e-learning website where another user has run into the same issue so while I wasn't able to fix the the problem I was able to come up with a workaround um, when I was able to find out at least to me what seemed to be causing the issue. So I'm just gonna show you the question to provide a little bit of context. I'll provide a link to it um, below here in the video. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you the workaround which I've come up with. Um, just while I have you there watching here on YouTube, please do like and subscribe to my channel. I'm uh, once again trying to grow my channel so um, your support would be most appreciated. So let's um, jump right in there. And so here's the question from uh, 17th of June, a fatal error when pasting a, a group. So I thought it was uh, actually related to um, the fact that I had grouped uh, the objects together. So it was around a, a group or my user interface, which all the objects I had of the user interface I had grouped. And when I would copy and paste it, I would get this uh, error, a fatal error has occurred. So I'm actually just gonna show you the actual project itself. Um, and I've just already, just in, in the interest of time, set up a blank slide here to show you the, the issue that um, was occurring. So, um, now this is a slightly different version, an older version. So if you're thinking, oh my goodness, things are out of place here. This was just a working version. And uh, so this was the user interface. And in the user interface, I have all these objects um, here. But the one that was causing the issue, uh, I later found out after a lot of um, anguish, <laughs> to not put it too dramatically, was uh, right here on this button. So my help, CB click button. Um, I had associated this action on success execute shared action. It was just to uh, change the state so that it would display some help text. So if I uh, select that and go Command C on my P on my Mac or Control C on your um, PC, and now if I go Command V, it just crashes. Like it just totally uh, disappears. In fact, uh, it, maybe that's it to do at the speed of my uh, Mac. It's going to take a couple of seconds now and I will get that error uh, once my Mac has figured out that uh, everything has crashed. But you saw how quickly um, things crashed there. So let's go ahead and look at how I finally managed to uh, get around this issue so that I didn't have to build a user interface for each and every of, I think that project had like 50 slides in it. So it would have been quite a tedious process and uh, not to have been able to use the copy and paste functions. So let's, so I'll just go ahead and open that project again. Um, kind of a large project, that one. Um, that's, Going to take a, that's why it's going to take a second or two for this to load. Uh, so let's go back to this button with the shared action. And it was a keep it simple solution. All I had to do was go here, no action. Or should I also say not just shared actions, maybe make sure that even advanced actions as well are not associated. So um, just to show what I mean, shared actions or advanced advanced actions, either of those, uh, just make sure that all are removed there. So all my buttons now, my user interface um, have no actions. Um, oh, there's even a simple action. That's just in case, set everything to no action, no action. Okay, I think we're good now. So I'm just gonna copy and we're gonna paste. And voila, so it worked. So, uh, you know, this isn't ideal. Now I need to go back to each of my buttons and I need to, you know, go, it's a, there's still a, a tedious part of this to, um, 
to be done. But what it does mean is, you, so you see there I had a user interface design. So it does mean that I can at least ca uh, copy all of the objects, um, but I still need, and, and they can maintain their um, status. I'm not sure what's the correct word there. You know, they're, they're set up as buttons as opposed to just smart shapes. Um, so, you know, at least you're able to save time that way. Just remove, um, shared actions especially um, sometimes I also get crashes when there was advanced actions so that's why I removed those and just for the purposes of this video I also removed the uh, even simple actions as well and then that way you can copy and paste okay I hope you found this uh, video helpful as I said please like share and subscribe and watch out for more content uh, my resolution for 2020 is to post at least a uh, you know two three videos um, a week and and I look forward to um, uh, hopefully getting more of you involved in the discussion with my videos please uh, leave some comments below if you found this helpful and please do um, uh, you know put some questions in there if you think I uh, could have a solution for you and um, reach out to me I'll put my email uh, address in the comments below as well if you are interested in um, some help with your e-learning work okay thank you very much